Hey guys, it's Kevin from the Prime Crew, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get music from um, an iPod that's synced to a different iTunes to your iTunes library. For this procedure, you'll need an iPod that is synced to a, another iTunes library, a USB cable, and a uh, Mac, preferably, because that's what the tutorial is for. First, you connect your iPod into your Mac, and you should see that this sign comes up. No, refuse everything that tries to replace the iPod's music with your stuff. And as you can see, this icon pops up which is very vital to this process. So now you have um, your iPod. You try to get the music from it and iTunes doesn't want it to go through. It doesn't work. Uh, so to do this you have to rely on this icon. Click on it, double click, and over here you'll see these folders. These folders are completely useless. They have nothing to do with music and the music is actually hiding in this folder to get this folder to not hide you type in terminal in your stop spotlight open it up and then you type in defaults right dot com dot apple dot finder apple show all files dash bool true enter and then type in kill all Finder, and I'll be uh, putting these codes in the description box so that you guys won't have to like, you know, so you guys will find it easier. And then this reset zero finder, and now you can see all the hidden folders, like this kind of stuff, and double click your iPod icon again, and you'll see all these hidden folders. Um, don't mess with other hidden folders and just click iPod control and click music. Now you'll see all these different types of music that is from your iPod and they're all in these folders <clears throat> and to get them um, go to your desktop create a new folder just calling mine iPod music and get the music from your device Apple A and send it into your desktop oh, once it sends you'll have your iPod music open it up you'll have all your files in your desktop and you'll want it in your desktop because if you just get the music from here and directly send it to your iTunes then when you disconnect your iPod your um, your iTunes might not be able to recognize the music and not play so therefore you should put it in your desktop so it's in your computer and now from here you just get the folders get the music select them all and just drag on over to your iTunes and once you okay I'll just give you an example because I already did this I don't look that great but yeah just drag one in oh, you could see that the song the song has has turned normal like the codes will all go away once you send it in and yeah so don't don't worry about that so yeah once you're done to make your computer normal again and not have all that weird hidden folders just popping up everywhere get terminal out again type in the same code from the f um from first but instead of true 
So if it's true, make it false. Enter. Then type in kill all finder. And your stuff should turn back to normal again. Yep, all the stuff hidden and no weird stuff. So even though the music, the folder is hidden, you don't want to discard this. You want to put it inside another folder Just, and keep it safe. And now you have your music in your iTunes, have your friend's music or you know, iTunes. And yeah, that's how you could share your music. Um, so I hope this little tutorial helped. And yeah, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.